good girl. So we've got a little flow for you today. We're gonna to have an emphasis on core strength for this one. So as you're moving throughout your postures, I want you to continually focus on drawing into your center. Set your hammock to the height of your hip flexors for safe inverting. Hopefully they'll feel a little burn and enjoy this one. All right, we begin behind our fabric. Just hold your hands at the center of the hammock, feet are parallel and begin to extend forward. So try to get a little lift of the tailbone. Should feel very much like a cow pose. As you extend long through the sides of the waist and keep the gaze down so you don't strain the back of your neck. Start in alternating of the legs, bending and straightening, alternating your two sides. One leg is straight as the other one bends. Bend the left knee, keep the right leg straight, and slide your left hand to the middle of the fabric so the right hand can drop. Keep extending the left hand away. Inhale, open your right arm towards the ceiling. Exhale, drop it down. Again, inhale, rotate open. This should be very humbling. Coming down, twice more. Inhale, rotate open. Thoracic mobility, bring it down. One more time, inhale, open. IT band as well. Roll your way up. And then send yourself forward. Both legs are straight. Lift the tailbone long to the sides of the waist. Bend just the right knee. Left is nice and straight. Right hand slides to the middle of the fabric so the left hand can dangle. On an inhale, try your rotation to the left. And exhale, bring it down. See if you notice the difference between your two sides. I can rotate to the left easier than I can rotate to the right. Last time. Rotate open. And then roll your way up. Bring that fabric up and over. Catch the back of the shoulder blades and enjoy thoracic arch. Come over your fabric. Hands are cradling the head and arch over. You can keep nice wide elbows, that's gonna emphasize the chest. Or a deeper opening in the back, you can bring the elbows closer towards the ears. One more breath in. And then nice and slow, lift the gaze. Come right underneath your plumb line. Bringing that fabric up and over. Come right in front of you with that little bar. Long spine, come forward with your body. Right leg is gonna extend back. Take a nice full breath in, and on the exhale, pull the knee and the fabric together like a little ab crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw the navel back, bring the knee in. Keep the gaze down. For six, pull in. Five, in. Four, three, two, get ready for a pulse. Knee comes in, little pulses into the fabric for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend, arms away, leg is nice and toned. Squeeze the thigh, point the toe, engage the glutes. One more inhale, exhale, release. Coming forward, extend the left leg. Get nice and long in your body, pull into your center, breathe in. Exhale, knee comes towards fabric. Inhale, open. Four, three, two, Last one. Start your pulses as the knee comes in. Little crunches in for eight, seven. Pull down on your fabric. Five, four, three, two, and one. Extend, open up. Try to engage the muscles of your backside. And down with the left. Walk forward. Try to catch those hip flexors. Fold in half. 
downward dog position. Hands to the mat. Push the feet away, flex feet. Draw the ribs in. Focusing on opening up the backside. This pose should have strength in it. Give it one more breath in. And then from here, just begin to let your body weight float underneath your plumb line. Take this into your rack down dog. So feet come wide. You wanna flex to the front of your fabric and walk your hands back. Feet are pushing into the fabric, they're nice and flexed. Opening up by sinking the chest through. And just try a little rock from side to side. So using your hands on the floor to help steer your body right to left. Now you can use this for a little more core activation. I want you to try to swing yourself to one side and hold it there for five. Four, three, two, and one, swing. Second side, five, four, three, two, and one, sink at center. Try to go a little bit deeper into that opening through the chest. Ribs pull in and relax the feet. You can float forward. Hang for a moment in downward dog or a little rag doll, just crossing the arms. Take a moment to center yourself. We got right into movement for our practice. So make sure you're present here with me. I know the mind likes to drift and judge. Try to let that go. On a forward swing, hands down. Walk yourself up and out. Fabric will come over. Catch your shoulder blades. Another thoracic arch, head is fully supported, arch over, navel draws in. Try to go a little deeper. And lifting the gaze. Make sure the navel is drawn in. You can hold onto the back of your head or the fabric in front of you. Right leg is gonna lift. Keep that leg nice and straight. You're engaging your quad. We're pulling in from those lower abdominals, five, four, three, two, last one for the lift, bend the knee, cross it over. So I want you to take that nice side bend, feeling it all the way in that left side body. Rotate your twist a bit, or rock a little bit, see what feels good to you. and back to center. Square everything off, nice and strong through those legs. Left leg lifts. Try not to bend the knee, toe is pointed. Lift for six, five, four, three, two. Last one, lift, bend, and cross. So we wanna come all the way over, right here. Pull your navel in, the more you can cinch into your center, the more you'll feel the stretch. And walk yourself back. Bring your hammock up and over. We're gonna start with our right side. Right leg comes in, getting into the back of that knee crease. Holding onto the fabric with the left hand and lift your left heel. Nice and slow, begin to push the body weight forward. Continue to draw the right hip back so it doesn't lead. Nice and strong through the glutes and through that left leg. Add rotation, look to the right. I always do these things with you because we don't get enough of this rotation in our upper body. Nice full inhale. Exhale, bring it back. Extend the leg, coming on to the ankle, and I want you to make a pivot. So you're gonna face the long end of the mat. Think of a triangle pose. Arms out to the horizon. Scissor those inner thighs together, so get strong and begin to pull forward. Nice lifted chest, inner thighs squeeze to pull you back, and again forward. All right, so use those inner thighs, pull yourself in, 
We've got two more. Forward and back. Last time. Come forward. I'm going to try to give you a little more of a core challenge. Both arms are going to come up and reach forward. So try to put those hands through your hammock. And your thighs still squeezing. Breathe in. And then squeeze those inner thighs, come back up. And pivot to face forward. Right foot comes right onto your hammock. So I want that heel exposed, toes exposed. Left knee comes in. You should be able to kick your right foot right through. Foot to the floor. Hands to heart center. Bring this down into a lunge. Body weight goes back, so sink into the right knee. Hands to the floor. Three-legged dog variation. Right leg pops to the back of the mat. You can go a little bit deeper by walking your hands further back. Press into your fabric with your left ankle. Squeeze your right thigh. I feel like you don't know what intense is until you're right here. Just give me one more breath in. And if you took the walk, you'll bring your hands a little further forward. Create a floating plank position. Right foot climbs up and in. Actively push the ground away, strong shoulder. Give me a nice full inhale. And on the exhale, we switch. Left knee comes down and make a pivot. I'm gonna come on to my left hip, all the way down to my elbow. So extended leg comes out in front of you. So we wanna go opposite arm and leg. Breathe in, exhale, tap it together. Exhale, drawing that navel back. Exhale as the leg comes up, and try not to sink into that shoulder for six, five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it here. Push your leg and your hand into each other. Draw the navel back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and release. Pivot to your back. Both ankles come into your fabric. Arms out to a T. Inhale, and on the exhale, focus on rolling the spine up. So you come up to the shoulders, gaze is at the ceiling, and then articulate the spine, come down. Take a couple of these with me. Inhale up, exhale down. For five, there's little to no weight on my neck. It all falls in the shoulders. Three, two, last one for the lift. From here, stay lifted. Bend the knees to kick the feet through. We want to come all the way to the back of the knee creases. Coming into a seat, it's an ab crunch, so inhale. Exhale, reach up for your fabric. Climb up and squeeze your glutes. Brings you all the way up to stand. Pivot around for your second side. Left leg comes in, holding on with just the right, begin to push forward. And so core has to hold us into our center, chest is lifted, look over that left shoulder, strong back leg. One more breath, begin to pull yourself back. And extending to the left, you'll want to make your pivot. Face the long end of your mat, getting those inner thighs ready. Come forward as far as you can, right? Keep the strength, pull into your center as you reach forward, and then pull it back. Forward, nice lifted chest, oh my God. And back, twice more, reach forward. Control your body in the fabric. Coming back, and then forward. One of the many reasons why I like aerial yoga is because we're fighting, right? When we move away from our pum line, let's take our extension, we're working harder in our core because it's always wanting to pull us back. So we need to be extra aware, come up, 
on balance, where we are in space, coordination. Ankle comes in, or I should say sole of the foot comes in. Right knee comes into the fabric. Left leg should be able to just pop through. Foot to the floor. Hands at heart center, making sure that the weight goes behind you. So pushing back as you begin to extend down. Hands to the floor, left reaches back. Three-legged variation. I'm gonna go deeper by walking my hands in further. Active pressure down into your fabric with the ankle. Really engage your left leg. Such a good stretch. Another inhale. And then lifting the gaze, take your walk. If you walk back, you'll come forward. Plank position, left climbs in. Nice and strong, pull in through the ribs. Right knee to the floor, make your pivot to the floor. Come on to that elbow, we have opposite arm and leg. Reach up, tap it together, tap. Draw that navel back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it up, squeeze it together. So push your hand into your leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center. Find your back again. Both heels are gonna come in. Just square yourself to center. Pick up your right leg first. Keep that left heel pressing down into the fabric. Arms out to the side. Try to drop your leg down and bring it back up. So I'm going directly out to the side as far as I can go without that opposite hip lifting off the ground. Drop and lift for five. Four, three, two, last one. Leg is gonna drop either half or the whole way. Press into your left heel and engage your glutes. Keep that leg out. So really use that side body to stay stable. Full breath in. Exhale, bring it up. Enjoy a quick little stretch for that right side. Maybe point and flex your foot while you're here. Actually push the right hip away because it will want to lead. All right, and heel to fabric. Center everything. Left leg is gonna lift, arms out to a T position. Drop directly out to the side and bring it back up down and up. For six, really try to push downward with that right heel. Five, four, three, two. Last one, you're gonna drop, getting ready for that little bit of challenge. Push into the fabric with your heel. Squeeze your glutes, float up and hold for five, four, hips to the ceiling, three, two, and one leg up, hips down, grab back of thigh, back of calf, pull in, add your flex and your point. Left hip crease pushes back, don't let it hike up. Last time for the flex and hold. All right, and heel goes in. Same way we exited last time, we wanna kick through our fabric. So press into those heels, glutes are gonna lift. Slide to the backs of your knee creases, you kick through. Ab crunch up. Climb up that fabric. And squeeze the glutes to come up. All right, I want you to face whatever direction is most comfortable for you and your screen. 
we're going to review something called tipping. Now, if you don't feel this, you're not doing it right. To begin, I want you to come onto your toes and catch your fabric as if you could almost kind of sit in what feels like a little boat pose, right? So you should feel a little curl of the tailbone. Hands are holding up. Right now my elbow is on the outside. I'm gonna put them either equal to the fabric or slightly on the inside of the fabric. Toes together, knees wide. Right now I'm not using my core. I'm going to tip, right hands tipping, my body weight forward. My forearm is caught in the fabric. Pull the knees up and pull your body weight forward. If you need a little break, you'll come back, take a breath, and then when you're ready, come forward. Again, pull those knees up and back. We're gonna do four more, try to stay with me. Tilt forward, keep pulling the knees up, but pull the body weight forward and back. Again, forward, knees up, knees up. Again, back and forward. Let that body weight sink forward as far as it can go. Knees up. Let's try two more. Forward. Knees in and back. Last time, stay with me. Tilt forward. Pull those knees in tight. Five, four, three, a little tighter. Two, oh, and one. Feet to the floor. Whew. Like I said, if that does not hurt, you are doing it wrong. Keep playing with it. Extend long, lift the tailbone, stretch those abdominals out as you come forward with your arms. Breathe in, exhale to sink into your shape. And roll your way up. All right, now let's actually take our back shuttle inversion. So onto the sacrum, All right? So toes, sacrum, create that little shelf to lean back on. Knees wide, cross in front. Draw those abdominals together. First time we're here. You can interlace your hands behind your back, or I'm gonna do rag down the front. Just focus on tractioning the spine here. And if you have any moving, just use the backs of the hands to the floor to stop the swing. I want you to be as mindful as you can to try to not create uh, momentum or motion as you're doing this. Hands come behind the head. Take a nice full inhale and on the exhale, try to ab crunch up and then lower down. So I'm not swinging, don't swing your body. It's okay if you feel like you're not doing a high crunch. Just focus on exhaling, drawing the navel back, ribs to hips. Down, we won't do many. I know upside down isn't fun for everybody. Let's see if we can do three more. Exhale, come up. Two. And then last one for the crunch. Release down, hands to the floor, walk towards the direction of your head, taking this into a little stretch. So sinking the chest through. If you need a little break from being upside down, you can keep the gaze lifted. That'll help. Otherwise, let the head sink through the arms to lengthen a little further in the neck, opening up your thoracic. Full inhale. Exhale, draw the navel in. Try to feel your front body just stretching open. And hands come back out from underneath. Swinging underneath the plumb line. Reach up with your hands. We're coming up slow. Uncross your legs. Shelf on the hips, hold here. Only when you feel ready, feet to the floor. Catch the back of your shoulders. Hands come in front and take a moment to rest. And walking yourself up and back and forward. We're just gonna climb in for a little bit of relaxation. Now, if you like to lay flat and come into that full little cocoon pose, you can. I'm gonna climb in if you have a trapeze, you can certainly just take your favorite relaxation pose. Backs of the knees. And then the curly edge of that fabric right over the shoulders. Leaning back and walk yourself in. The whole body gets covered. 
arms and legs in opposite direction. Close your eyes, just kind of drop into that little sway in the hammock. Feel our residual work in the body. And then letting the mind drift and the breath soften. Let everything go. Notice where your mind is. And incorporate just a little bit of movement, maybe rocking from side to side. See curves in your body. Coming back to center to kick the feet through and use the hands to help you pull up. Catching the elbows in the fabric, lean forward. Inhale the arms overhead, sit up nice and tall, bring it into heart center. As always, I am humbled and honored to be here with you. Namaste. Get comfy. This is the story of my life. <laughs> Every time. Good girl. <laughs>